Yeah, uh, so I prepared a short presentation about a package uh, that I developed and it's a weekday selector widget and this is what a weekday so this is what I'm talking about so you see the circles and then you can tap on these circles and then you select some of these days and you can unselect them so on the on the left side you will see that's the iOS uh, alarm so iOS clocks bedtime uh, I think the schedule view. This is uh, so you can select some dates that uh, some days that okay. I only want it on weekdays. The example in the middle is the Android calendar app for recurring events, and on the right uh, it's the Android alarm app. Um, oops. And uh, so th these were the kind of like the circles. So you see that this that there are circles, you tap on them, you change the basically the state of this of the day. Uh, you can see that it's it's like a really I think it's a small widget. Uh, another pattern that I saw that uh, these apps use in other places is this kind of list uh, weekday selector where they list all the days. Uh, it's kind of like just a checkbox list style with days in it. Um, but I, I think uh, this is, so these are the two ways that uh, you can basic, you can select uh, weekdays in most of the applications. So it's sort of a trade-off because on the left side you have these small circles and if someone is not technical enough or someone haven't seen these, uh, then they won't know what these are uh, and on the right side basically you need an entire screen uh, so it's kind of you need to pick what you want to do um, and why I'm talking about this is uh, I work for a small startup company in Munich uh, it's called Smau and it's a smart home uh, company and this is our first product which is a smart plug um, that you can control uh, over the internet, you can turn them on and off. And one feature that we wanted to add is uh, basically a schedule uh, that, okay, every day, every morning at eight in the morning, please turn whatever is connected to this uh, socket, to this plug, turn it off or turn it on. And we wanted to give the option to the users to select the days that they want this whichever toggle to be executed. So we wanted to support okay, weekdays, uh, weekends, every day, or any other uh, option. And so this is what we, what I wanted, what I had to build, what I wanted to build. Uh, and uh, I also thought that it would be uh, good to make it open source um, and make it available for others. And also this way other people can maybe help us as well and we can make this part of the app a little bit better so I wanted to make it easy to use, idiomatic and customizable. I also wanted to make it accessible but I didn't check it uh, with uh, screen readers yet but everything says, so my initial research says that it should be accessible uh, because we use tooltips, right? semantics and um, so that's that was the that was the reason why I started it. Uh, I am also uh, looking for feedback um, because you all are uh, Flutter developers, and if you have an opinion, please tell me, and I will try to uh, improve the package if possible. So this is more or less how the code looks. This is a weekday selector. You it accepts uh, the values of the uh, days. So it starts with index zero is for Sunday. In this case, it's, in, uh, it's enabled and selected. And there is, uh, so true and false stands for enabled and so selected and not selected. And if you pass in null, then it means that day is disabled. So if for one reason you don't want to let the users pick uh, 
the weekends and you want to I don't know, make it visible that it's disabled and the user should not select it, then you can mark it as no. And in the unchanged callback, you will receive an integer, which stands for the days that the user tapped on. So I'm using the uh, date time constants. So Monday, Tuesday, they, uh, if you look it up in the date time uh, documentation, so Monday is for one, uh, Monday has the integer value of one, and so on. Sunday is seven, so there is no zero in it. Um, so this is more or less how we would use the uh, widget. So I mean, it's just a, it's a stateful widget, and you would just uh, set the state. Uh, you can do it with any other state management solution that you would want. Um, so the reason why I chose a list of Booleans, because I also wanted to support the uh, disabled uh, state. Because So initially, I used a set uh, of integers that didn't really work well, because then I couldn't uh, support the disabled, or it, I could have, but then it would have been more, more and more complicated. Um, and this way, the behavior of the weekday selector is also up to the user. So it's up to the developer who is using the package, and uh, it gives more freedom. So uh, in this example, um, so uh, we can give uh, warnings. We could set the state to anything, and everything is just uh, transparent. Um, and yeah, I also wanted to make it customizable, so. The initial, I added a couple of parameters, so you can change the color of the weekday picker, the, the fill color, color, the text style, the shape of the mm, weekday selector, and also the elevation. Um, I think it was just too convenient to add these as options as well, uh, because it really makes it uh, fun and easy to, I don't know, experiment with this. Um, I also made it themable, so you have an inherited theme that's called weekday selector theme, and all of the these themes, uh, like childs or ascendant, ascendant um, are going to use this uh, theme. So if you have lots of, uh, so if you have this weekday selector in multiple parts of your application, then you can just specify once how you want it to look like, and the big day selector that you place in your uh, app, then you only have to specify the unchanged listener and the uh, values. Um, so this is more or less how it looks like. So you can, I, I made a couple of options uh, available. Uh, in the first row, you see the default behavior when you don't specify any elevation or colors. Uh, it will use the uh, material theme that you are using. So if you are using this library, you don't need to um, specify it. It will just automatically be the color that you are using. In this case, it's uh, purple. Uh, and I mean, of course, you wouldn't want to do all these shapes because they, I mean, some of them look uh, terrible. Um, quite a lot. I mean, <laughs> That's a different question if you want to use those, all those options, but you can if you want to. Um, I also thought about uh, internationalization because we live in Germany and not, so it's by default if you work on an application, you need to think about internationalization and supporting different uh, strings and different behavior. Uh, so if you really want to, it's again, it's Probably you shouldn't, but if you want to, you can use uh, emojis for the weekdays. So Sunday, Monday, the alien is for uh, Tuesday, the Martian, and then I kind of run out of ideas. Uh, and you can also think about if you want. So in the uh, yes. Quick question. So does this mean you can also do the American way, where you start the week off on a Sunday instead of a Monday? Yes, I, I will show you in one second. Um, so you can use the international, 
intl, so I-N-T-L uh, package for getting uh, localized versions of these uh, of the days and um, you can also, they also ha have the narrow and short big days. So on the top you see the short and the narrow is even shorter than the short. So uh, it will be like M-O for Monday or Montag because it's German. Um, is it? Yes. yes, so it's the uh, German. And I also wanted to add uh, this little tooltip so that if users get confused, they can long press on it. But of course, if they, I mean, it's kind of like if a user gets confused by seven days, then they will probably not know that if you long press it, you will get an explanation. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I totally must missed the point there. Um, Another thing is that even the country code matters. Uh, so this is Spanish and so from Spain and uh, Mexican Spanish. So it's kind quite interesting uh, if I can trust the in Intel library that uh, the in Mexico they start with uh, Sunday and in Spain they start with uh, Monday. And you can also see that the third day, so the um, uh, Wednesday is uh, different, so uh, because it, it's miércoles uh, in Spanish, and in Spain they just write an X, and in Mexico they write the M. And the reason why they do that is because in Spanish there's two M's, martes and miércoles. And yeah, and it, it's actually they they do use it that way because I had a, a Mexican friend, and we had to sketch out some uh, schedule. And I wrote LMX, and he was like, no, you're so stupid. <laughs> it's not how you write it. And I said, no, I, I learned it this way. Uh, and so country code matters. Uh, and I, so because we talked uh, with Jose about uh, uh, the, during the last meetups about right to left and left to right, I also wanted to check it. and. Big day selectors. So on the left, you see the Android application. And you, what I thought is that, I mean, I, I checked it. I changed the language to Hebrew. Uh, and I thought, OK, big day selectors are going from left to right and not right to left, even on right to left languages. But I thought, OK, this, is, this must be very strange, because th this can't be. But then I. Like even if you if you check the back button is uh, on the other side, and I, it was very okay. This is this must be something wrong. So, and at first I, at first I totally missed it, and I was like, okay, this is very strange. And I, I went on to uh, write the rest of the application, and I I was it was just bugging me that how is that possible? Even that hamburger menu is on the other side, so and the back button is on the other side, but. Um, yeah, so it right to right, right to left is also they use the same. So it's right to left uh, on weekday selectors as well. So I made a mistake there. But you, the the library also supports it uh, using this text direction. So in this example, you see the wrong example, um, but it, it does support it. And well, sorry. Um, and yeah, just use the Intel package uh, to do this. Uh, one thing, uh, also the first day of the week, uh, it's different in different countries. Um, one thing that, uh, just a quick note, that in the Intel, if you want to try it, in the Intel package they use zero for Monday, but in the daytime constants, one is for Monday. So if you want to do that, you need to add plus one to the first day of week uh, um, property. Uh, and this is the one example. Uh, I'm changing from Hebrew to Arabic uh, in uh, Egyptian Arabic. Uh, like the country is Egypt. Um, and uh, in this uh, GIF, in this video, you will see that as I select it, it's so the Thursday is to the right from uh, Friday. So it's the other way around. Uh, and so this is what's been finished so far. 
I also want to add uh, kind of like a form support because I think it would be uh, um, nice to work with it. Uh, so, for example, if you make it mandatory to select at least one day, it would be cool to show this uh, this uh, error message that okay, uh, and it should look the same as you use it for uh, text forms. Uh, and there are maybe make it animated and so on, but uh, maybe that's just. Uh, I, mean, I don't know if someone would actually pay attention to make it animated because some of the things are animated. Uh, so sorry. Uh, so here you can see the shape. Uh, then those are animated, and so but so but the colors are not the background colors. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, and if you want to try it, uh, just this is a weekday selector weekday underscore selector on PubDev. Uh, I also wrote some text, uh, some tests, uh, because I originally wanted to talk about testing, but then I realized that I, I don't know enough to, uh, I don't know enough about testing, and I always discovered these cool things about testing that I wanted to dig deeper. Uh, but so, if you want to read the tests, uh, you can do that, and that's that's it. So. If you have any questions, uh, ask them now. Do have the microphone anyway? With a microphone, please. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask, is it possible to choose which days are going to be shown? So if you needed to just show weekdays, can you um, blend out the weekend? Yes. I. No. <laughs> um, so I saw that uh, because I was looking up uh, different libraries uh, again because I thought, okay, what are they uh, supporting? And I saw this morning that okay, the, some of them support this that only show like five days. Uh, so no, that's that's the answer. But it could be. I all requests are welcome. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I think I I'm going to add it. How would you use it? Uh, or I don't know, I just thought maybe a school uses it for something and then in school you don't go there on a weekend, mm -hmm. for example, yeah. and then you don't need Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, I, I think, yeah. I think it makes sense because, I mean, I didn't think about it, but uh, this morning I discovered that some libraries do support it, and now you also, this is the first question, so it probably makes sense. <laughs> <laughs>